What's going on, guys? Derek Jackson here, and today I am joined by my lovely wife, Denea. And we just wanted to address a couple of things. You know, we understand that some of you may have already heard, maybe not, um, that this chapter of our marriage is one that was preceded by a marriage that I completely failed. And I would say it just started around August, maybe September of last year. But, you know, a lot has been said already about what was the cause and all that other stuff. Some of it is true. Some of it is completely false. But the truth is, and I'm saying it here now, is that Derek Jackson was involved with other women outside the marriage. And by involved, I want to be clear, I'm not talking about just casually kicking it, maybe a lunch or something like that. I'm talking about as serious as sex um, to sexual flirtation and, and meeting up and that kind of thing. And some things that otherwise may be considered okay by some in terms of like just chatting or, or checking on people or being checked on by people that I've had a previous encounter with. Um, but without my wife's knowledge of it and with us having a sexual history, all of it falls under the umbrella of inappropriate, cheating, affair, stepping out, um, def definitely not in alignment with the vows that I took, um, and definitely not in alignment with the biblical standard of what it means to be faithful, which is the standard that I'm going by now. Now, I'm saying this publicly, not because I'm you know, married to you guys. First and foremost, I'm accountable to God. Then I have to be accountable to my wife, in which we've already had this conversation I've already told her literally everything. I've given her basically a, a roll call list. If I've said hello to a woman in the last 12 years of me knowing her, she knows about it. Um, but now that it's been made so public, um, it's important that I first off let you guys know I do not stand by those actions. I don't want to encourage anybody to do that. And then secondly, I know that I cannot build a platform preaching certain things, preaching against certain things. And then in my real life, live contrary to that for any amount of time or, or any length of time to any extent and think that I can't be held accountable. You know, the same way that I preach, you know, men and women in this situation need to face consequences of their actions, um, deserve to be held accountable. Guess what? Derrick Jackson's no exemption. He, he, he's not exempt from that. I'm also not a victim. I'm, nobody made me do this. Uh, she didn't make me or push me to do it. The next person didn't make me. No friend influenced me. It don't matter how I was raised and what trauma, whatever. Look, I made decisions. I made a series of decisions that I got to account for. There's no excuse or justification. I've already made that bet and have, have had to lie in it. Um, and now we're finally getting on to the other side personally in our own healing, in our own marital oneness. Um, and now this is being made public to you guys. So we're bringing that forth to you guys to let you know where we're at with that one. Did you want to say anything? Um, yes. Yeah, so I do want to just add that I agree with what he just said. There is no justification for bringing other women into our marriage on any level. And it was unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And it's not something that I tolerate or that we tolerate moving forward. And when I, I've been flooded again with messages and these things and about you know, I need to leave or why haven't I left? And the answer is when I found out about it, I left. I did not hesitate or waste time to do so. And I stayed gone. No matter how many times he came, I stayed gone and stood firm on, I am not coming back. And I did not come back until I seen a shift and a change in his mentality and how he carried himself and how he presented himself in, in conversations that we were able to have that we had never been able to have in just 12 years of knowing each other. And when we, when we were able to have these dialogues, said, okay, Lord, this is something that you've had your hand on. And this was with me being completely removed from his life and, and him pursuing God, continuing to pursue God and continuing to eliminate these things that led up to the catastrophe that you guys are seeing for the first time. So there's nothing out there right now that is information that I don't already know about or haven't known about. Um, and so this is not something that uh, is new. <laughs> we have uh, moved forward from it. We have gotten counsel for, for it and continue to do so. He is still continuing to pursue God and continuing to seek guidance and, and wise counsel from um, men of God. And that is what I needed for the continuation of me being present and in this marriage and to stand by his side. So today where I'm at is at peace and I proudly stand by his side and I have no hesitation.
hesitation. I have no hurt, no shame about that. And it's only because of the grace of God and the mercy of God. Mm -hmm. And we have already turned a new chapter <laughs> in this story. Um, we are conti continuing to move forward and we are just now sharing that with you all. And um, I forgave him. And most importantly, God has first forgiven him. And I also forgive the others as well. And with that, we are free and moving forward. So Absolutely. that's all I have. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I get it. Some of y'all, like this may come as a huge shock, probably a huge disappointment. I let a lot of you down. Um, you know, if you've had a perspective shift on who Derek is, hopefully it's away from anything remotely close to perfection. And it's simply that, you know, I am a human. And that does not justify anything that I did. But I don't want anybody out there to be putting me on a pedestal. If you did, then I hate that you did that. Maybe I gave you cause for that, and I apologize if I did. Um, for those who are saying, Derek, I don't want to ever listen to you again. It's totally understandable. I appreciate you while I had your support and helping me get the message out about healing and healthy relationships to so many people who needed it, myself included. And for those who are going to continue to support, man, I appreciate you like never before because I know is not going to be easy going forward, it's at least for a little while, while so many things are still fresh and attached to my name. But for everybody out there, if, if you get nothing else from what I've ever said over the last nine years or right here in this video, please get this. Nothing is right until it is right with God. Mm -hmm. Nothing works until it comes into alignment with biblical standard of how God told us to do things, especially when we're talking about a marital, spiritual, a spiritual covenant. Yes. You know, you cannot do this by your own understanding, your own intelligence, no. your own willpower, your own values. You have to have the grace of God uh, to break free from certain things, to stay away from certain things, uh, to not operate from your lowest self, whatever it may be. And it's because it's really only by God's grace that we're even able to be here on this video, <laughs> oh, holding God. hands. Oh, well, like a year ago, <laughs> seven, eight months ago, even I couldn't see this happening. I thought it was over and I already had begun establishing my relationship with God. But that's the fruit of bringing things in alignment with God and the mess that's been made, the mess that's now being made public from last year and you know, years past. That's a result of getting out of alignment with doing things God's way. So that's where I stand. Um, that's where we stand. And again, um, we appreciate you guys, and we'll see you soon. Peace.